An ideal capacitor is a purely reactive device. It contains zero resistance or we can say zero power dissipation. But perfect or ideal things do not exist in the practical world and capacitor case is no exception. Real capacitor also has some problem which we will be discussing in this video. In the previous video, we discussed about the problems with real inductor and those were serious problems. Now, when we talk about the capacitor, capacitor do not have those serious problems. Generally, capacitors are considered as the purer reactive device than the inductor. And capacitors are also very easy to design and construct with a very less internal series resistance than the equivalent inductor. And since the internal resistance of capacitor is very very less compared to an inductor, capacitor also dissipates less amount of power. Now if you see the simple construction of capacitor, it consists of two parallel plates which are separated by some insulating medium which can also include air. And to these two plates, wires are connected to form the connection. And the length of the wire is also very small. And as a result, the resistance introduced by the wire is also very very small. So capacitor do not have problems of resistance which is introduced by the wire, which is a serious problem in case of an inductor. But there is some effect of resistance present in the capacitor as well. Of course, it is not introduced by the wires, but it is introduced by the dielectric used between the two plates. Generally, dielectric material used in the capacitor tend to react to the changing electric field. And as a result, the dielectric produces heat. This heating effect is represented by loss in power and is it is equivalent to the resistance in the circuit. And this heating effect increases further with increase in frequency. This heating effect can become so extreme that in some cases, this effect is used for melting the plastic. So the plastic will be put inside the two plates, two conducting plates of capacitor, which is connected to AC source. The heating effect then can be controlled by controlling the voltage or frequency. And the plastic gets melted without being touched by anything. You know, sometimes electrical engineering gets magical. But of course, this effect is not at all acceptable in capacitor because we are expecting capacitor to behave as a purely reactive element. But unfortunately, we cannot completely eliminate this effect of dielectric. But of course, we can make it less significant. And one way to reduce this effect is to use a dielectric medium which is less susceptible to the effect. Vacuum is one of the dielectric which produces less amount of heat. Then we also have air, we have polystyrene, we have mica, glass and many more. These are some of the dielectric which has a very minimal dielectric loss. And capacitor who has higher heating dissipation or higher power loss, then that capacitor is called as lossy capacitor. And this effect of dielectric resistance acts basically in series with the capacitor and also in parallel. So the practical equivalent circuit of capacitor look like this. But if we compare the effect of this resistance with the resistance that is there in case of real inductor, then we will arrive at the result that the capacitor's internal resistance is very small compared to that of an inductor. And hence capacitors are also said to be the purer form of reactive element. Let me know in the comment section what are the different types of capacitors you know. And for additional content on AC circuits, you can join my free course on AC circuit, which is available on my website and also on Android and iOS app. I'll provide link for everything down in the description. You can check it out for more details. So that's all for this video, guys. I hope you found it useful. If it was useful, then do click the video and share it with electrical engineers, you know. And also subscribe to my channel to get the latest updates of all the upcoming videos. So thank you for watching guys. I'll see you in my next one. But till then, keep watching, keep learning.